Welcome to Ag Lab. Today's question, what is the nitrogen cycle? Nitrogen is all around us. In fact, around 80% of our Earth's atmosphere is comprised of nitrogen. The other 20% is oxygen. Nitrogen is also used by our plants as nutrients for growing. We wouldn't have any food without nitrogen. This all plays into the nitrogen cycle, which is a biogeochemical process through which nitrogen moves from our atmosphere to our soils to organisms and then back into the atmosphere. The nitrogen in the atmosphere, nitrogen gas, cannot be used by most organisms. However, it can be converted into plant-usable forms by certain bacteria, legume plants, or through industrial fertilizer production. This fixed nitrogen can then be absorbed by plants and later by the animals who eat these plants to grow and thrive. Soil organisms and plants use it in their bodies just as we do. When these organisms die, nitrogen is released back into the soil, providing an opportunity for other plants and microorganisms to use it. Other soil bacteria feed on nitrogen, gaining energy by converting ammonium to nitrate, the same way we gain energy from eating carbs. And a wide variety of soil bacteria can use nitrate in place of oxygen when oxygen isn't available. Converting the nitrate to nitrogen gas, which is released back into the atmosphere, completing the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is so important to agriculture that many farmers use nitrogen-rich fertilizer or plant legumes to spur growth in their crops. However, these fertilizers can cause damage to the environment in two ways. First, if too much fertilizer is applied in ways that don't allow plants to use the nitrogen in the fertilizers, the extra can easily move into the runoff water leaving the farm. This can lead to contaminated drinking water supplies, polluted rivers, and harmful algae blooms. Second, not all of the nitrogen released back into the atmosphere is converted back to nitrogen gas. Some is converted to nitrous oxide, a powerful greenhouse gas that traps heat and lingers in our atmosphere for a long time. So how is ARS helping to preserve the nitrogen cycle by reducing fertilizer use? In Salinas, California, Researchers are teaching farmers how to use cover crops to protect the groundwater during the winter months and then recycle the nitrogen from the cover crop into vegetables the following year. In Ames, Iowa, researchers are helping breeders identify plant species whose extended underground root systems are most effective at keeping nitrogen in the soil. And in Raleigh, North Carolina, Researchers created a simple, rapid, and reliable test for determining nitrogen amounts in soil. You can do your part too. At home, you can recycle food and garden waste like leaves and grass clippings to make compost and then use the compost to enrich the soil in your garden. If you buy fertilizer, read the instructions carefully to ensure it is applied at the right time and amount to reduce the chance of runoff and overadding. Thank you for doing your part. For AgLab, I'm Kelly Harmon.